God, those Make-A-Wish kids can sure scream. Anyway, it's Friday, so you know what that means. Let's welcome tonight's guests. <laughs> Grab a map, because you're about to get lost in his eyes. Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Henson. <laughs> She's so Southern, she recently traded in her iPhone for a CB radio. Co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business, David McDowell. <laughs> like most Philly sports fans, she wears an Eagles jersey and an ankle monitor. Fox <laughs> Nation host, Casey McDonald Hosmer. <laughs> and finally, he gets sunburned from the refrigerator bulb. Fox <laughs> News contributor, Tom Shalhoub. <laughs> The show has begun, but before we get to the news, let's do this. Yeah. Greg's Leftovers. Filled with mm. stuff. It's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading these. So if they suck, we'll break Joe Mackey's arms, then his legs, and force him to play Twister. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> Brazil has reportedly seen the advent of nudist barber shops where no one wears any clothes. Meanwhile, uncircumcised customers have been asking for just a little off the top. <laughs> <laughs> Pair of tickets from the performance that President Abraham Lincoln was watching when he was assassinated have now been sold for $262,000. Hmm. Anyone willing to pay that much must have a hole in their head. <laughs> Too, too yeah. soon. Uh -huh. It's like 150 years ago, people. <laughs> anyway, a man was gored to death during a running of the bulls in Spain. The funeral will be a closed casket from the waist down. <laughs> Come on, Tom! <laughs> Tyrus would have laughed. <laughs> That's a great joke. A white Zimbabwean, I think I said that right, was crowned as the nation's Miss Universe representative, sparking outrage in a country that's 99% black. But citizens of all colors came together once they realized at least she doesn't have a penis. <laughs> mm -hmm. The low bar these days. A new AI tool, that's uh, short for artificial intelligence, Pete. Thank you. A new AI tool has been able to generate what Marilyn Monroe would have looked like today. In fact, here's the picture. <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> the National Cathedral has replaced stained glass featuring Confederate generals with protesters that allegedly support the theme of racial justice. It'll help the cathedral save on fire insurance. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good joke. <laughs> Makes you think. But I would prefer you laugh. <laughs> Thinking is overrated. Kamala Harris is incompetent, unqualified, and the worst vice president in 40 years, according to voters in a Daily Mail poll and everyone else on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they like that one. <laughs> After years of anticipation, NASA has returned asteroid samples to Earth in a historic first. Not to ruin the surprise, fellas, it's a rock. <laughs> it's always a rock. During the GOP debate, Chris Christie said he knows Trump is watching because he cannot control himself. <laughs> yeah, this from a guy who knows a lot about self-control, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'd say look in the mirror, but, you know, you need more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Ojai, California, that's a place, has become the first U.S. city to recognize the legal rights of elephants. That's, of course, if you don't count New York already allowing The View to tape here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible people you are. Dejia Blackwell, a social media influencer who uses the name Meatball, was charged with eight felonies after encouraging widespread thefts in Philadelphia. Her mugshot showed tears running down her cheeks, though police say that might have been marinara sauce. 
Last week, the Canadian Parliament gave a standing O to a Ukrainian man who turned out to be a former Nazi. House Speaker Anthony Rhoda apologized for his lack of due diligence and hoped they wouldn't hold it against his next guest, Mr. Badolf Bittler. <laughs> While speaking on inflation during the debate, Ron DeSantis spoke of a woman who had to take food out of her basket at the checkout. To which Chris Christie replied, food? Did someone say food? <laughs> the Wuhan Institute of Virology warns another coronavirus outbreak is highly likely. They predict the new strain will begin circulating as soon as Dr. Fauci invents it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah! 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 A British Airways pilot was fired after bragging about a pre-flight cocaine party. <laughs> I mean, who does he think he is, a Biden? <laughs> Earlier this week in Michigan, President Biden joined striking auto workers on the picket line. Evidently, they're the same workers who are credited with assembling Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? A flock of sheep in Greece wandered into a greenhouse and ate 600 pounds of marijuana plants. Then they wandered into a 7-Eleven and ate 900 pounds of Doritos. <laughs> the NYPD is deploying a new security robot to patrol the Times Square subway station. And so far, it's working perfectly. It successfully transmitted 12 photos of the thieves who stole it and sold it for parts. <laughs> And finally, during an impeachment hearing Thursday, Democrats asked Marjorie Taylor Greene not to show pornography again, as she did in previous testimony about Hunter's criminal behavior. Disappointing former CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin, who was watching at home. <laughs> now, to the news! Fetterman had his chance. Now it's time to put on his pants. True, this fake working class guy now has to wear a tie. This week, the U.S. Senate unanimously voted to restore its formal dress code. That means they've reversed the short lived Fetterman rule, which had allowed lawmakers to wear whatever they wanted on the Senate floor. Appeasing the Pennsylvania senator who's ruined hoodies and gym shorts for the rest of us. <laughs> Fetterman responded to the rule reversal on X by posting a picture of Kevin James, which is the same photo he uses to catfish women. And a reporter snapped this photo of him finally in a suit giving two thumbs up. So why did Schumer and his colleagues put themselves through such needless humiliation, especially when there's so much necessary humiliation that they richly deserve? I guess it's to avoid admitting it was a mistake to nominate Fetterman and then lie to the American people about his condition for the past 18 months. In other words, because they're Democrats. While crime rages and our country's border dissolves, they thought the real concern was making one goofy doofus comfortable. As usual, they know priorities like Joy Behar knows proper hygiene. <laughs> Meanwhile, liberal activist on X, which is formerly Twitter, is playing the trans card, posting that it's a culture war resolution, that men must wear a coat, tie, and slacks. So if you are trans, does a resolution require you to dress a certain way? Well, I guess it depends if they have a penis, dumb <laughs> but we support this activist wearing whatever they want as long as the bag covers the entire face. <laughs> but really, dress codes are important because once you become lenient about that, it can only get worse. Hey, Greg, got your show notes here. Oh, great. Holy. What's that? Whoa, what is that? Hey, I figure if the Senate can do it, why can't I? I guess it's a fair point, but you need to get that checked out. Ugh, not again. <laughs> yeah. They had to blur a lot of real estate there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pete, uh, we got all these problems going on, and it's so weird that this was the politician's limit. You're going too far. It's not when you talk about mutilating kids or fighting, no. fighting foreign wars or millions of illegal immigrants. It's about decorum, the, the clothing. Yeah, the only thing we can get a bipartisan bill passed on is put clothes on. <laughs> yes. That is absolutely it. <laughs> By the way, my office is next to yours, and I can attest that is frequently how Greg dresses. <laughs> 
It's not staged. I just, give, I just give the people what they want. That's exactly. <laughs> and me. And what they want is less. Uh, Clothing and more <laughs> GG. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Fetterman also delivered a case of, uh, of Bud Light recently to the impeachment. Yeah. Which, which seems fitting for him. Right. Yeah. Why is it fitting for him? You didn't expect a follow-up, did you? I didn't. Uh, I, <laughs> I expected laughter and got none. <laughs> you were like Mike Pence in the debates. <laughs> Laugh now. Laugh now. All right, I'll let you, I'll let you go on this one. Thank you. If, all right, you know, uh, Dagan, if they care about decorum, why don't they extend this concern to the streets where people are getting mugged and beaten up and uh, forced to listen to Pete Hegseth jokes? Yeah, exactly. Because um, they're the little people. Yeah. You know, too too high and too dirty to actually go vote for them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really upset that they reversed this mm -hmm. because ultimately your wardrobe is the window into your soul, Greg. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to avert my eyes <laughs> for the time being. Um, I was looking forward to Fetterman in tank tops in the summer and watching the reapplication of deodorant mm. in the middle of a Senate session or uh, in his roomy basketball shorts, you know, uh, cooling down his steamy junk <laughs> uh, <laughs> with, an, I, with an icy washcloth. Oh. I'm, seri I'm serious. If you let every, all of these ghouls in the Senate dress exactly how they want to, don't you think we would know, maybe know that Menendez was up to something if his wife dressed him? Yeah. He'd either be in Versace or like a purple leather matching warm-up outfit. Yeah. You said Versace like that on purpose. Yes, I did. Okay, good, because yeah. I don't want to correct <laughs> like, you. Like in Showgirls. Yes, exactly. We all remember that movie. <laughs> I had a small role in that. <laughs> you did. Yes, I did. Yes, I was the pole. A small <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Casey, Casey, why did they feel it necessary to change? This is the problem with America. We are changing all of these rules for, like, one person. Now we're doing that like with, with no cash bail and everything. It's like, oh, we have to, we have to do it for a minority of people, a, the criminal. We change things for one person and everybody else suffers. And then they change it back. Yes. The, the rule is there are no rules. The rule yeah. is you, you can do whatever you want. You can get away with whatever you want. You look at the riot that was just in Philadelphia. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that. But don't, he, and he's saying, I'm a man of the people. I want to represent the people. This is how the people dress. This, I love comfy clothes. Mm -hmm. We all love to wear sweats and, and look a little bit like maybe we haven't showered in a few days. That's mm -hmm. fine, especially once you have kids. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. But you, no, you do shower. Um, put your best foot forward. I feel like he had a chip on his shoulder since he beat beloved Dr. Oz. I mean, he's mm -hmm. a national treasure. He may have steered some people wrong with the green coffee bean extract whole thing. Mm -hmm. But... We still love him. And I think he just wants so badly, all of these senators, all of these representatives, they want to be celebrities and they want to be famous and they want to be influencers and they're not doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. It is true though, he should be dressing, <laughs> he should be dressing for his constituents and not for himself because you know, he should be aspiring to something greater. Tom, Tom, you are very well dressed. Yes, you know what? Fox is actually, they're changing the dress code because I'm killing it so hard with this suit. <laughs> <laughs> that in order to accommodate Pete, they're, they're actually lowering the dress code. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I was going to say that Fetterman does have a chip on his shoulder. It's an Intel chip, and it helps him think. <laughs> oh, Tommy. Uh, Terrible. But, but it's so funny, Greg, that we have to pussyfoot around the fact that he's he 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 is disabled. So when I bring that up, the guy shouldn't be uh, in the Senate mm. because he is disabled. And people say, "How dare you say his disability makes him unable to do his job?" Yeah, that's in the word disabled. <laughs> he really is not able to mm -hmm. do the job. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm surprised that they change the law now or change this dress code because they've let a lot of other codes go like that one that says um you know don't marry your brother right and commit immigration fraud like that one they overlooked that one ah i see what you did there yes and uh and with menendez the old you know don't sew gold bars into your suit <laughs> That one was. He actually said that that he his excuse. Did you see his speech? Mm -hmm. He said, "I'm old school." Like, yeah. That was his excuse for the gold bars. And the, yeah, he's old school. Like grandma and grandpa, they always used to <laughs> sell. Say you're gold prepping bars. for the end of the world and leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, you know it, it is. It's like yeah, I just walk around with gold in my pocket. He's like a pirate. <laughs> yeah, he's like a pirate. 
<laughs> That's what he should have said. He said that, uh, that uh, don't make fun of his pirate heritage. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.